Welcome back to the White Noise Podcast, where we give amateur tattoos to the elderly. And welcome back. I'm Ethan, joined here with uh, Gavin and Jacob behind the glass. Today we have our first guest, Austin. How are you guys doing? Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. Sleepy. <laughs> Gavin's sleepy. All right, so we're just going to jump right into the the meat, the, the, meat the tragedy of uh, Joe Gatto leaving the Impractical Jokers. <sighs> Truly a loss that has been felt around the world. But nonetheless, it was a necessary uh, thing on his behalf for his children. Yeah, it was the worst news I've uh, I've heard in a while. Because I think over the summer I binged all seasons of the Impractical Jokers. He was like the one that was willing to go crazy. He was late. he was the show. <laughs> yeah, no he shame. Was he was stuff. he was the glue of the show. He's he's everyone's favorite. Um, yeah. like I like all of them, but Joe's the Sal Joe is the favorite. Joe's Joe and Sal are like the personalities of the show. Sal gang. Um, it's Joe left because you know he wanted to give everyone else a chance to win. That's all we watched when we first got cable. Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> just watched it nonstop. Um. But another tragedy, Gavin, is uh, <sighs> Miss Betty White passing away. Rest in peace. At 99 years old. I loved but I thought she was 100. No, she, mm-hmm. she missed her 100th birthday. That was the whole thing. They were planning oh, for it. Her birthday, her and then she died a week, <laughs> she, a week before. She was awesome. Her she was birthday a very, would have been January very, 17th or something. It's a very talented actress. And honestly, it kind of screwed my whole day up when I saw that she <laughs> died. I was so sad. <laughs> Oh, man. I was hoping she'd make it to 100, too. I was I like, oh, she's still alive? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I remember her in, like, Community and The Proposal. Golden Girls, obviously. Yes. But Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> she, was, she was cool. She was a sweet old lady. America's <sighs> grandma. Um, That's unfortunate. So, Joe leaving. Betty White leaving. It's a very... It's a bit of different... Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're going, going different places. Already. A little bit magnitude. What was that? It's been a rough week already. <laughs> yeah, it's a rough start to the year. Happy 2022, everybody. Oh, yeah. Seems Look like everyone's getting sick, too. I just haven't seen you guys since last year. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry. I hate myself, too. Yeah, trust me. I do, too. <laughs> I hate you, not me. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's a, that's a sad uh, opening. Sad that's opening. A sad... sad Sad current events, <clears throat> but you know, just to get it out of the way, let's let's get that out of the way and let's jump right into uh, a segment about food. Oh, did, you, did you want me to intro that? <laughs> I, 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 didn't, I didn't know how to intro it. We didn't talk about how to intro it because we were gonna do. I don't with, think we should intro this because this is just an abomination. I'm looking at the list that we have for. I yeah, got a whole bunch of arrows horrible. on my sheet. I don't know what's happening. Should, should we cut this? <laughs> So the the food combos that you guys wanted to bring up the we we all know you know some people you know whatever you like to eat I don't judge normally but if you put pineapple on your pizza that that's where that's where I draw the line I mm-hmm. think pineapple on pizza actually tastes quite swell it, okay well, that I'm sense. sitting that next to sense. a psychopath I just want to know what are the ones that you guys have in mind because I know everybody has radical views when it comes <laughs> well, to this I thought I thought this was a a normal thing and that everyone liked it until Gavin informed me that he does not like it. Um, ice cream or even shakes with fries. I mean, okay. I guess if you want to eat them separately, but well, like <laughs> dipping the, dipping them into the milkshake and stuff. No, I don't. That's, that's, that's baffling. I feel like that's no. a, that's a common occurrence though. And that's you want to take a gulp, widely loved. You want to take the double gulp and then, you know, then you eat a fry or two. Isn't that like a signature thing at Wendy's, like a frosty and fries frosty and fries. Yeah. I just, I can't get behind it. Ruins it. Okay, that's okay. That's very unfortunate, Gavin. So, um, one that I have, I well, okay. It's I think it's gonna be bad. I think you guys are gonna hate me <laughs> for it, but um, so um, one one summer, you know, when when I went to go spend at uh, the university, yeah, in high school, uh-huh. um, so like, we stayed in the dorms for like a couple months, whatever. It was like a med med pre med program, whatever. Um, but so I packed like a bunch of snacks and stuff to keep. And one of those was a jar of Nutella. 
And one day I was like, you know, when you get in those funks where you're like, I'm pretty hungry, but like not for like a meal, but you just want to snack on stuff. Of course. Uh, so I popped open that jar of Nutella and everything that I had, I like used that as like dip. So what, what did you dip what else did you have? everything? <laughs> so uh, like Cheetos, Lay's. <laughs> Um, I can see granola Lays. bars, Lays. I can see Lays. a ton gonna, of different granola stuff. Granola bars, yeah. I can you're see gonna go that. ahead and do that, and then shit on pineapple. On <laughs> yes, absolutely. I will do well, that. Ten out of the ten. Cheetos the Cheetos thing is the only thing that throws me off. No the Lays, I can. They see. were good. Everything was good with Nutella. There Cheetos was not just, one thing that I did not like with Nutella. <laughs> Cheetos are downright nasty on their own. I don't even. Oh, that's. Wow. Okay. 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 Sorry, wait. 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 Was it hot Cheetos or regular Cheetos? I think there was both. I don't. I mean, it was. It was a while ago, but I don't remember. But I do. I came to the realization that Nutella is good with everything. Wow. I feel about that, Gavin. Do you like Nutella with anything? Uh, I mean, Nutella is Nutella is pretty good. I haven't do, had it in years. Some Nutella. Have you guys had like the bacon dipped in chocolate? Mm, like no. from the fair? I have not. It sounds horrible. It's great. <laughs> I mean, I I love like a uh, salty and sweet. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So like okay. pretzels dipped in chocolate, salty and sweet. Don't like pretzels. that. Pretzels. You know I do not you don't like, like pretzels that. and chocolate. Nope. I do That's not. A good one. I don't really like that. That's probably why I don't like fries and shakes and shit. But you don't like the mixture of salty and sweet. No, I, I also hate caramel too. Like caramel, like, really? I don't like caramel. Caramel. Heard it both ways. It goes uh, both ways. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want to know? It's not a correct. You want to know a weird maybe. food that I just tried recently or a weird combination? Takis and ranch. Okay. Oh, what the geez. hell is it with you and ranch, dude? <laughs> I don't know. I really like ranch. <laughs> what was the other one you liked with ranch? Uh, I just... Spaghetti and ranch. You know? That's, that's just disgusting. Put dude. ranch that dressing, like right. salad, like salad ranch dressing on. Okay. Your, okay. On your I can see that. I can see them touching on the same plate, yeah, but I don't. You know, I don't like like when you have like them. when you have a salad and spaghetti, salad and spaghetti, and but what? It gets yeah. It's actually pretty good. You're having ranch with all of that. <laughs> hey man. What. the... Okay. I don't judge you for your weird food ideas. I'm not ideas. weird as shit like you. Um, should we bring up cereal? Maybe we could should save that. We'll save oh, that. that. That's a bombshell. You did not need to bring that up. <laughs> Whatever. We'll Inside save that for another. For else listening. Save that for another <laughs> another time. So if you um, have chocolate cereal, do you pour chocolate milk in or regular milk? Regular milk. I do regular milk. Regular milk. I like I like the regular milk. I'm Taking sure you've in the done chocolate. both, though, right? Of course. Of course you have. I have heard people actually pour orange juice into cereal before. Um, I'll hard pass on that one. Um, Never tried it. Can't knock it till you try it. But, I mean, that just sounds Have you guys ever been too. desperate for cereal but didn't have milk, so you used water? Yeah. I've never I've done that. Never, never, never done that. Never done that. Never done that. Never never had a bowl of Strugglos? <laughs> I've done that one time. It's water with ice cubes. <laughs> That's rock bottom. <laughs> Speaking of ice cubes, uh, milk and ice... Or like orange juice and ice. You don't put mm. ice in anything. I can't believe it. <laughs> Other than like water sodas and, soda. and water. If it's not cold, then you put it in the fridge. If you don't have a fridge, then you just don't get a drink. <laughs> so there's no ice cube. Oh, man. Okay. I'm glad we agree on that. Today was least. not a good day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll jump right into the movie of the week. And actually, this time, we're going to introduce next week's movie of the week at the end of this segment. So... Uh, Gavin, go ahead and run us through. What's what's this movie we're talking about? The movie we're talking about is the Hercules 1997 Disney version. Classic. Beautiful movie. My favorite Disney awesome. movie. I do. Yeah, I was going to say it's my favorite Disney movie. Um, who is it that plays Hades? James Wood, I think his name is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. He's the, he was my favorite character that whole I, I think if it was a different actor, I think that movie honestly probably would not have been nearly as good. Relax. Hades, it's only halftime. Hades sold that entire movie. Yeah. And then Danny DeVito was in it. I totally forgot about yeah, that, too. Yeah, he was, the, he <laughs> was like, Phil. It's Phil. Yeah. That was a, that's a solid movie. It also has one of the best soundtracks in, like, classic Disney era. Oh, man, yep. Next to Tarzan, but... <sighs> Dude. One of my other favorite movies, yes. <laughs> I watched I watched Hercules for, like, a solid, like, every day for a solid, like, year. I used to have Straight. Hercules bedding. Really? really? Yeah. I have a Hercules plate <laughs> from, like, when they sold them at McDonald's. <laughs> I have two of them. I have one of Hercules, like, flexing his bicep, and then, like, the one of Phil. <laughs> They are like beating the shit just because they're like twenty years old. But man, they're. I wonder how much I could sell those for. To be honest, I use them to catch the grease in my uh, when I make hamburger helper. So dead. Oh man! <laughs> Jump right back to the food. Uh, yeah, Wait. um, Hercules, great movie. Any? I give it like a nine and a half out of ten. Mm. It's damn near perfect for me. I, I have agree. a lot of thoughts. Uh, Meg, or 
<laughs> Whoa, easy. Jeez. Did you watch the movie, Austin? It's me as an eight-year-old you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the way they betrayed her. I felt like she was more of a whore. <laughs> okay. Ooh. What? Meg? How they portrayed her? Yeah. I thought she hated everybody for the most part. Yeah, she was she was heartbroken, which is why No, she the way it. she looked, that just she looks like oh, a whore. Just her, oh, her the appearance. animation? Yeah. Jesus. Her character. You probably should have led with that. She was in love with Hercules, wasn't she? <laughs> yes. But yeah, I mean, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The way she looks. I just let it oh Meg and you're like whore. <laughs> like, oh my god. That did she break your heart? Took what happened? A turn. Oh my god. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie, she did play my boy Hercules, though. <laughs> okay, uh, good movie. Favorite, one of my favorite Disney movies. The I can go the distance. I can go the distance. Perfect. Banger. Perfect film. And song. Danny DeVito's zero to hero. Zero. Oh to hero. my god, I Just love that song so much. Oh yeah, the the what choir. were they called? The the muses. The muses. God, yes. I, they were so funny. Loved them. They're, they had like a narrating like parts and the with like the whole gospel vibe music. Mm-hmm. It was gospel yeah. like Epic. soul type of yeah. uh, mixture. Gospel and soul. That's right on the nose. Perfect. Did, it doesn't seem like it should work with like Greek mythology Hercules movie Disney, but the everything perfect on its own yeah. sounds Mixed. like horrible. But <laughs> my gosh, who knew all of that combined would just make the <laughs> ten out of ten movie? Nine oh and a half. man, sorry. Yeah, that was good. So uh, hopefully. Um, you guys do better in the movie quotes. If I throw any Hercules in there, I hope you guys get it. Please don't. If I don't get it, <laughs> Dude, I'm going to look we'll, like a total yeah, poster. We'll, we'll, we'll look so bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll save the that The thing is, we were put on the spot, which is why we did so bad last week. Did anybody tell you guys how bad you did, or was that just me? Uh, no, we, we heard it. <laughs> yeah, I heard it. From really? Okay. Sources. Glad I wasn't being But they had, they had fun guys. playing it, I beating hope. us. Was it the, uh, yeah. the, did the Rock, did Dwayne Johnson also do a Hercules movie? Yes, yeah. he did. Yeah, Good. okay, I've, I haven't seen that one. Does anyone what? know that one? I think I've seen I it like once. Seen it wasn't pieces. anything too special. I thought How it long was like, it come out? I thought it was like he was fake Hercules. Like he was posing as Hercules, but he had this whole like posse behind him that would make him look like he did incredible stuff. Mm. I don't know if he was actually. No, he was actually Hercules. Actually a Greek god, though. Well, he, broke, he was chained. I remember. Oh, right. he Hercules was Roman. He was just strong. <laughs> he was like swinging Hercules a big ass Roman. rock. Same thing. Not the same. Greek mythology. Hmm? It's two different time periods. What? Man, Dwayne the Rock is in everything now. Hercules is Greek, isn't he? He's ruining movies Heracles for me. Is Greek. What? Heracles. You, Heracles. Do you not know that? Oh, my gosh. Are you getting hung up on the pronunciation? I'm just... That's how it goes. You said Hercules is Greek. I mean, like... Zeus. The, the Disney movie is Greek, yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Hercules yeah. is a Roman character. Okay. Well, if I'm first introduced to that version of Hercules, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume he's Greek. Hercules was based off of Heracles, which was the Greek version. Didn't like Kratos kill Hercules in the Greek Spoiler. mythology? Uh, Heracles. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna look this up in case I'm, I'm a dumb dumb. Maybe. I think that's uh. I wanna put it past Greek you. and Roman are like. The same. Romans just came along. We're like, mm, actually, we're changing the rules. Kind of. That's how they did with that. <laughs> so, I mean, mythology. it's kind of the same. I don't know anything about this. <sighs> That's fine. Okay. For next movie. Next week. Yes. Oh. Go ahead and bring it in. Um, next week, we are going to be reviewing the movie Training Day. Um, it's that movie that came out a long time <laughs> ago that I still haven't seen. Suggested by the audience. There's yeah. a couple of those. There, there's there's a lot about. of movies. I haven't seen it. It's a 2001 film starring, I think, Denzel, right? Denzel, Ethan Hawke, Eva Mendes, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre is in that movie? Supposedly. I haven't seen it either. So It's a oh. police drama, so I'm going to watch that. 2001. Mm. And Snoop Dogg. So Gavin and I both haven't seen it. We'll watch it this t- over this next week. Cool. And then uh, do our review. So if you haven't seen it, but... Probably unlikely. You've probably already seen it. Uh, then give it a watch, and then uh, we'll be able to review it. Give us your thoughts on the movie, maybe. And yeah, so that's the movie of the week for next week. Hercules was the movie of the week this week. What's your consensus on Hercules, Gavin? Rating. Oh, I said the, yeah, nine and, nine and, and a half. Out of ten. Austin, I'll give a solid eight. Okay, it's a good movie. Not I'd, my favorite. I'd, I'd go nine, nine and a half through my nostalgia glasses. I want to say ten, but yeah. me, I'll be, I'll say nine. It's a yeah. solid film. If you film haven't seen it, brings you're it doing something ten. wrong. <laughs> All right, do you want to go to movie trivia, or do you want to go with uh, talking football and then go into that? Let's, let's 
go right into the right, the wrong, and the ugly, just to break things up. Cool. Go for it. Okay. So this on this week. Oh. Oh. I've t- Going totally forgot we recorded this. Yeah. You can depend on the right, the wrong, and the ugly. Let's go. Okay. All right. So up to bat, uh, quarterback. Uh, okay. How do I phrase this? Playoffs are coming up. Is the NFL Next too week? soft on the quarterbacks? I think we can all agree. Yes. Like just flat rate. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. I believe soft in general. I think to to start this off, I believe that the quarterbacks. You know, as we both have agreed, are treated a little too much like, you know, baby-like. Granted, they're usually the smaller people on the field, I agree, especially when it comes to, like, the linebackers and the defensive linemen. Mm-hmm. They're, like, half their size. However, if the if the quarterback decides to tuck and run, oh, man, I don't care if it's you slide game. or if you're going out of bounds. I think you should be allowed to get your shit rocked. I think if you're going to be brave enough to run with that ball, you should be prepared to expect anything that comes from you or comes from the defense. I agree. Like, agree just full-fledged and give it all you got on the quarterback? Yeah. I mean, to an extent, yeah. I mean, okay. Obviously, if you're trying not to in the pocket, murder somebody, okay. yeah, <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed to do that. If they go for a slide, I mean, I guess. But I think if they go for a slide and somebody hits them, I don't think it's roughing the pass. Oh, yeah. If them. they're going for a slide, I feel like it's different. Like that. Well, because some quarterbacks will fake you up out. On They'll be like, oh, I'm going to go for a slide or I'm going to go out of bounds. And then, like, the defender stops and then they just, oh, just kidding. I'm going. And it's like, using that, that shouldn't be, uh, uh, I mean, obviously if they're out of bounds or they're already down and then they get hit, yeah, that's kind of uncalled for. Well, I think that's for any player. Like, any oh, yeah. any player can give themselves up and then but, I mean, they let's get be hit honest, hit. It gets called mostly on for quarterbacks, though. Yeah, and I, I agree, and I think a huge thing is the inconsistency among all the different games. Like, one game will call this, but another mm-hmm. team of refs won't call that. Yeah, Yeah. And it's... Inconsistency. Sometimes the inconsistency within one single game, where one quarterback will get hit, they'll call it, but then the other team's quarterback gets hit the same way and or even worse, and that never gets called. Um, roughing the passer, I think that the quarterback, like you said, is a smaller guy, usually, but sometimes there's big quarterbacks. Say, some of these quarterbacks. Are what like, is yeah, rough, like? What is the roughing the passer like? Where can you hit them? I still don't know. Like, I mean, is it like the legs where they call it or you where? You can't grab their face mask. Obviously, like, obviously but like, that, but like. They usually generally call it where like it's just when they're roughing the passer. Like if someone's being overly aggressive like with just, the quarterback. It's a, it's kind of vague too, which makes it drill harder to him. call. If I picked up the quarterback and threw him like as hard as I could onto the ground, I'd probably get called for that. Okay, yeah. I, but like if I go and I hit you if in it's your just torso. A, if like, it's just a normal tackle? Yeah. They're not going to see what that. the official And what if I rule hit you on your thigh? I'm pulling it up right now. They wouldn't call it that. They wouldn't call that? So I then mean, theoretically, they shouldn't. But, I mean, they'll call it if you, like, spun around me and then, like, suplexed me. Oh, well, obviously. Yeah. It's it's usually, well, too. I mean, they wouldn't call that if you did that on, it's like, usually a or something. Like a, it's usually, like, a late hit type thing with the, which I, I hate as well as when the quarterback, like, throws the ball and then, and then get gets hit. hit and they call it. But it's, like, what are, what are running you supposed full to do? speed at yeah. a guy. What, have you tried stopping, like. Just hit the brakes <laughs> right there. Run full speed and then stop? Just like, yep, I'm going to just go ahead and. Mid, Pull the e-brake mid, real quick. Mid-dive, and then you just oh, It's like a train, dude. You can't just stop a train right away. Yeah, and I think it's also, it's it's just the inconsistency that bothers me. If they would call, if everything would be called the same, I'd have less of a problem with it. But the fact that, and that's all calls in the NFL, too. Oh, it's yeah. not just the roughing the passer call. You know how many times I've seen, like, a passing interference that was so obvious but just didn't get called? Yeah, that happens all the time. And it's always... <laughs> what was it, Saints versus Rams, like, 2018 or something? That's oh, <laughs> man, that game was awful. So the official rule says, um, well, just, like, the summary, because there's a lot of, like, if, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the summary is defenders are allowed to contact a player attempting a forward pass, quarterback or not, you know, um, while he still has possession of the ball. However, once the ball is released, defenders are not allowed to make contact unless carried by momentum. Uh, roughing the passer can also be called um, if you like, you know, pick them up, stuff them into the ground, wrestling, or um, make helmet to helmet contact lands with full weight on the body of the passer. Biggest thing is just protecting the quarterback because they get paid forty million dollars a year. They're literally the oh, the yeah, team. They're, they're the most expensive yeah. part of the team. Exactly. Definitely wanna. And it's usually the quarterback is... Also, they make the NFL money. <laughs> That's true. Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Tom Brady go down. Who's watching football now? Mm. Without the... 
the True. star name True. at the quarterback position, then there's no... Who's going to be my State Farm commercial? <laughs> <laughs> you do that if you're dead. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, but I don't know. It's... I disagree with you guys of like going full force on the quarterback. I really think the like, quarterback should just get their shit rocked if they're gonna. If you're gonna tr- throw it away, then if you if you're like, oh, I don't want to get hit, or like, well, it's it's if you want to run the ball, then you can run the like ball. Like you say, but. they shouldn't be allowed to slide. That's you. You say they shouldn't be allowed to slide. They should take the hit, which I feel like any player can give themselves up. Yeah, but no other. other player does. Even then, do. like. I can't think of that. Wide receivers people. run out of bounds all the time. Well, running out of bounds is different than sliding. It's like other than quarterbacks, nobody really slides. Most like receivers, running backs, yeah, whatever, I agree. If Lamar like, Jackson getting into get a pile, more. they just like <laughs> dive forward or like gain you know a couple more yards. But quarterbacks, they're like those one or two yards aren't worth it to taking this hit. So I'm just going to slide down to just okay. just to protect themselves. Yeah, I, I just I. But that receiver will be like, okay, I can get one or two yards and I'll be fine. Yeah. But you know, quarterback gets one wrong hit and he's not going to make the next throw, so that's why they slide down. Like you know, obviously Kyler Murray, mm-hmm. Lamar yeah. Jackson, those run. Lamar Jackson takes hits, and he's on the sidelines now, right? I don't, yes. I don't watch a ton of him, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, he's been on the sidelines for the past like he's like a Russell Wilson. He's a running back. Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, Kyler Murray. You know the they're good at sliding. Mm-hmm. The whole comparison between them is like baseball. Yeah. yeah. So when they run, they're they good. At, they're good at sliding. That's just uh, you know protecting yourself. You're well, carrying the t- without Kyler Murray, Cardinals win three games. <laughs> I mean, if you run like Brady, I guess where he's like you know you like a seven two forty. Brady. Like, well, he's also tall. He's big. Brady. Yeah. Brady's in. You know, Gavin, your idea of he he could take the hits, but he doesn't. Brady never gets hit because he either gets rid of the ball or he has a really good protection combination of both. Uh, I mean, that's that's a he's on he's on another level when it comes to like preservation. Mm-hmm. So he just doesn't take those hits. I think anybody could go full force at him. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're like, oh, that's Tom Brady. I'm not going <laughs> to rock him. But <laughs> people that are playing in the NFL that weren't born when he first started, I think that's crazy to think about. <laughs> it is crazy. Oh man, we'll get back into the playoff picture and the football and all that right after our uh, movie trivia game. Redemption time! Ready. Redemption time! I'm winning. I'm going five zero. We'll give you guys uh, another shot. Do. All right, so we're gonna just do uh, this time instead of going back and forth between each other. We're gonna go like we'll do buzzer style. Buzzer since we style. Have a, <laughs> a guest. <laughs> no, just chime in, or You're just gonna say, whoever says it first. Type I, of thing. I got it. Or got it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We got it so that we don't jump to it at once. Okay. All right. So first, we'll we'll start off first to five, or do we want to go to three? <laughs> I'm fine with five. I want to see how hard it is first, and then <laughs> oh. if gonna... I'm sitting here thinking about them, you know, well, maybe three's you're enough. To be like, what eight points or something? I said ten because I thought it's it ten. Easy. Oh man, you think this is going to be easy for us? It's an opportunity for two points a quote. I Are am still... on the spot though, Jacob. So. Are we still doing the like one point for the movie and then the second point for the character? Yes. So I think five, five right? Five should work. Okay. okay. And if I run out of quotes, then whoever has the most. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fair. <laughs> All right. We'll jump right in. Um, just whoever gets this one, uh, buzz in or say I got it. Ready? Ready. We'll start off. Quote is, out there beyond that fence, every living thing that crawls, flies, got it. or... Got sc- Let me... F- Finish the quote. And no, King. that's wrong. <laughs> oh, it right. isn't? Disqualified. It's not everything the light touches. You didn't even let me finish. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Oh Go ahead. Out there beyond that fence, every living thing that crawls, flies, or squats in the mud wants to kill you and eat your eyes for jujubes. Oh. Yeah, that's not lying. <laughs> everything beyond that fence. It sounds like a... I don't want to say legend. Hold on. It sounds like it like a that. Bug's Life or... Amp it sounds like a zombie movie. Everything is... No. It's a, no? It's a, no. Is it a Sci-fi. Talking? Oh. Sci-fi. Sci-fi movie? Yes. Oh. These are all movies. Oh, okay. Let me... Damn. <laughs> we look bad already. Starship Troopers? No. Damn. Say it again. Oh, say it again. One more Out there beyond that fence, every living thing that crawls, flies, or squats in the mud wants to kill you and eat your eyes for jujubes. All right, give Dude, us a... That sounds so familiar. Give us the year the movie came out. Give us the, that's going to narrow down the year. 2000-something? <laughs> oh, yes, now I know. Wait, wait, wait. 2008? No, I, I've I heard that before. I'm just trying to... Oh, 
Is it, right is it animated or live yeah, action? No, it's live action. I think this movie's a loss, to be honest. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, oh, my God. Technical Marvel Avatar, James oh. Cameron. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I just I watched that, that the other day. I haven't seen that movie since it I came out. I freaking knew oh. that one. Everything be, and you said Juju. I know. You, it, yeah. I have okay. not seen that movie maybe, since it Maybe came first out. to three. <laughs> Damn okay. it, we look so bad. God. All right. Um, 2008, I should have known that. As much as I hate to admit it, if we're going to win this one, some of us might have to lose it. Uh, I got it. It is uh, Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, and Captain America Steve Rogers says it. It's wrong. I don't want to say you're wrong because that's Damn. more your wheelhouse, but that is a wrong? Civil War. Civil Clint War. Barton. Damn. Oh, I was thinking, oh, God, man. I look so bad. Wow. 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 Shit. You suck. Dude. I do you suck. Just, I don't I didn't want to go against your Marvel knowledge, <laughs> but I was like, I think that's some wrong. of us have no, no, so confident. He said Steve Rogers. Yeah, he's, he's about to give like the exact scene. Fuck. All right, and the recording. Or yeah. you're gonna cut all yeah. this. Set in the third scene and Damn. The I haven't I haven't been You've been slacking. All right. Oh, zero shit. zero across the board for all three of you. I have been slacking. Too I feel easy. so bad. We need to cut this segment. The next <laughs> quote is You need to watch more damn movies. I've, well, I've seen all these movies. Ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quote is, don't embarrass yourself. All right. If you're using half your concentration to look normal, then you're only half paying attention to whatever else you're doing. Just mm-hmm. pointing out something that could save your life. You want society to accept you, but you can't even accept yourself. I think I got it. I don't know. That one. No, I'm just going to it's X-Men First Class. And who says it? I want it. I will take either name. <laughs> Magneto. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Two points to Ethan. There. First on the board. There's my Marvel Redemption. Redemption. That go. is from X Men First Class, and <laughs> I need to watch Magneto. To watch all of said that movies. too. You've never seen him? God damn. Yeah, I've seen him like once or twice. Wow. Okay. So Ethan, two nil Ooh. for the rest for Gavin and I'm Austin. So sorry about that Civil War thing. Guys. I don't think I can come back. I think all I'm right. Done. <laughs> I can't um, come back from Lion King, bro. I just, yeah, he said the fence. <laughs> you just fucking interrupted my mid quote. I was, the I was so, fence, I was so confident. King. Fence isn't even like, said in life. I, was I say, know. What the hell was oh fence gosh. even said? <laughs> okay. Everything. Th- um, I'm so embarrassed. Next quote is: "A true hero isn't measured by the size of his strength, but by the strength of his heart." Shit. I've heard that quote. Yeah. I should hope so. Got it, Hercules. Yes, sir. I knew it. Who says I it? knew it. It's, it's who says it? Uh, Phil. No, Zeus. That is wrong. Zeus. It is Zeus. Dang. One point to Austin for the movie, but not the correct character. So two Ethan, one Austin. Gavin, your goose egg. I got the character. That doesn't count. Nope. Oh, this game sucks. You gotta get the movie first. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. I knew he said it was Hercules too. <laughs> All right. Next quote is. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to our enemies. Got it. But just as much to stand up to our friends. Harry Potter You're going to throw an Austin. Stone. Let me finish. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Who says it? Albus Dumbledore. <sighs> Albus Dumbledore for Ethan. One more point for the win. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Avengers one wrong on purpose. So I didn't seem too nerdy. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, well, you got the Harry Potter one. <laughs> All That's right. why I thought the first one was first. Let's go not a nerdy movie so you guys can get more points. Ethan doesn't take them. Not a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Quote is, I'm going to pretend you a man, a very beautiful man with a great got body it. that I'd like to take to the movies later. I got it. That's uh, Rush Hour 3. James Conner says it. Wrong. That is Rush, Rush Hour, Hour 2. 2. Oh, it's Rush Hour 2. Rush Hour 2, and they're in the casino of the Red Dragon. Oh, he says it's And the, he's fighting the, the, the girl. Oh, yeah. yeah. We could have been something special. Damn it. <laughs> But you one, one crazy, crazy ass bitch. <laughs> Damn, Great I movie. It was three. Love, love Chris Tucker. But he, no, he says, wrong he says again. to shave your armpits one in, in three. That's what it is. Like, yes. Wanna, yeah, he so does. I'll yeah. shave your pits. Yeah, I'll shave like your armpits. Pits. Pouring honey on her. Yeah, yeah okay. So get, I, get, you, get your rush you, hours together. You get your see, Marvel movies together. You can see where together. I got the confusion, though, right? No, I don't. And I just actually. watched three, too. You need to get your trilogy. I just watched the first. Basically the same line. Okay. Somebody needs to win. Um,. Next quote is going to be, the best thing about visiting the president is the food. Now, since it was all free and I wasn't hungry, but thirsty, God you must have drank me 15 Dr. Peppers. Force, Force Gump. Gump. Force Gump says to, it. I'm going to give that to Austin, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> this doesn't happen normally. Gavin, you want to catch up? Sorry, Four is, Ethan, three Austin, zero Gavin. I'm running low, so we'll keep going. <laughs> A uh, quote is going to be, you could be the ugliest sad sack on the planet, but if you're in a rockin' band, you're the cat's pajamas. You're the bee's knees. Got it. School of Rock. 
School of Rock. That is for the win. Do you know, got the character? Yeah, I could say Ned, either name. Ned Schneebly or Dewey. Huh. Last name? Dewey. Dewey Finn. Finn. Yeah. Dewey All right. Dewey. A better Dewey. outing. Once I, once I heard the bee's knees, I was like, oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> better outing for Ethan, Gavin, sitting at a goose egg. Austin ending with three oh, well, in week. second place. Well, I'll take it. Goose egg <laughs> means zero because it looks like an egg. Uh, a lot better. Okay. I'll, I'll give you guys Aren't a little bit of redemption Aren't you in a film major, Gavin? We're, we're the worst film majors you'll ever, you'll really? ever see. Clearly. Yeah, <laughs> we're see watching that. movies. <laughs> right. We're making them, not watching them. <laughs> Got it. Perfect. Good job, guys. Oh, I feel better than last week. You know, that, that Marvel one, really. That Oh, man. I'm not going to let you live that one down. <laughs> you should have just been disqualified the moment that happened. <laughs> You were so confident in that answer. Yeah, I mean, second guessing. I was like, um, I'm well, not sure. Way, like, I, hold on, was, let me look it up. Because in Age of Ultron, it's Black Widow that says, like, what if we don't leave? Like, there's worse ways to go. Look at that view. Kind of, It's like the same vibe. So that's what I... And I was trying to beat the other guys because I thought they were going to get it. So Pressure was on. I feel it. All right. Do you have the our sonic song of the week, Ethan? I do. Go ahead and give it to us. All right. It is going to be... All these things that I've done by the Killers uh, came out in 2004 on their Hot Fuss album. I love Great the album. Great album. I actually never haven't heard, heard this one. What's it about? It's about stuff. All the things that they've done, dude. Why don't you give it a listen? What are any of their songs about, actually? <laughs> that's that's a, that's a <laughs> trivia thing. Like, uh, somebody told me, is that the one? That's all. Uh, the um, When you were Somebody 17, told me? Yeah. That's Mr. Brightside, right? The Killers. Yeah, okay. that's were, the only song I've heard by them. I think is about like a girl's expectations of like a her, man. Yeah, wait, right? You know, uh, somebody. Oh no, I've heard that one. Okay, Guitar Hero. Yeah, when, when you were young. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's that's, that's the that Killers. <laughs> that's that the is the Killers. I know Guitar that. Hero Dude, Three. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, somebody told me you had a boyfriend. All that song. Um, it's about them writing a song, isn't it? Yeah. Like all the songs. Like breaking my back to learn your name or. Breaking my back to know your name, and then seventeen tracks. I've had it with this game. Yeah, yeah. It's about them trying to write a song, which is how hard yeah. it is. Pretty. Uh, <laughs> and then Mr. And Brightside. A banger. So it's like, but but didn't he get they, cheated they got on? A bunch of bangers. Yeah. yeah. So Mr. Brightside, all these things on. that I've done is not their most popular, but it's really good. I just found. I'll it give recently. it a listen. I love the. Has Mr. Brightside been on like top one hundred all the time like, ever? Yeah, I have classified it as uh, trademarked eternal banger. Eternal banger. Yes, it will Agree. never fall out of favor. Will we have like banger tier lists? Yes. That's yeah. Eternal banger is above S tier. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you hear the opening, you you can't help but to listen to the whole thing. Eternal banger. There's not many. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's hard to find it. someone that doesn't know that song. To be honest. All right, Jacob. All right. Speaking of things you didn't know, um, I'll give you guys. I'll give you guys the chance. Um, <clears throat> between um, trees on the earth. And stars in the galaxy, which is greater? Stars in the galaxy. You would think, right? Trees mm-hmm. on the Earth. So, like just because it seems like, or like just different types. What was that? Like the amount of trees. Amount. You mean to tell me Number. there's more? Tre- you're not going to tell me there's more trees in Earth. I am going to tell you that there are approximately estimated three trillion trees on planet Earth. Thank you, Mr. Beast. <laughs> As opposed to <laughs> yeah. an estimated 100 <laughs> to 400 billion stars in the galaxy. In the galaxy? When was this taken? Galaxy. It is actually from ASU.edu. There's that many trees? Yeah. Damn. I believe it. Thank you, Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> Team trees. Yeah. So, no. Yeah. I just I saw like six trees outside. So, I mean, that's just a small area. So, what imagine the whole world. Oh, yeah. I imagine. <laughs> There's at least <laughs> six right there, mathematically. <laughs> Makes sense. Do Jerry the math. Run. Think about the <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> you know, you do the math. Do, do the math. It sounds like Tommy Boy, but I think I'm wrong there. I don't remember. Oh, now I look bad. Okay. That was my fun fact do of the, the week. <laughs> Damn it, dude. If anybody knows what that quote's from, let us know. At me on the PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation. <laughs> All right, uh, so we'll, we'll circle back to the, the playoff picture. Um, uh, the playoffs are starting after this last week. Week 18 is coming up on Sunday, yeah. mm-hmm. and then playoffs go into full swing. 
uh, whoever you know you support, what are your guys' predictions for the Super Bowl? We'll just say who's going to appear and who do you think is going to win. Just throw out. Who do you think the, mo- the yeah, most you go likely first? You, you is? You put a lot of thought in this, Gavin. Bengals, Packers. Packers take it. Bengals? You think the Bengals are going to go all the way? Yes. More. The Bengals. Bangers. The Bengals <laughs> just beat the Chiefs. I mean, they took a, okay. lot, of, took a lot of luck. <laughs> well, I mean, the Bills I, beat the Chiefs earlier, too. I think it's going to come down to the Chiefs, Bengals, AFC. I think the AFC is just so hard to predict. Yeah. I think you could pick anybody who's going to be on the AFC, and I'd be like, sure, yeah, okay, I could see yeah. that. The, like, on, I think AFC, like, ultimately, like, team-wise, though, I think it's better than, like, the NFC playoff-wise. Like, I think the Chiefs, Patriots, Bills, Titans, I think they're better than the Cowboys, uh, the Rams. You think the Rams are going to make it? No. Really? I hope not. Please don't. <laughs> they just beat the Ravens. I'm really trying not to yeah. have them win. Gavin's a Ravens fan. I think, um, chance. I think so it'd possible. be cool <laughs> if Cardinals and Bills win the Super Bowl. I don't think, but uh, I don't think it's likely. Obviously, right I am a Cardinal fan, but I don't. I would be surprised. I think they can. Do I think they will? No, probably not. I don't know. I'd give it another year or two before we make it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, um, Larry, come the, back, <laughs> please. Going back to AFC, I think a lot of the. I don't think there's a clear cut AFC like best, as opposed to like you know Packers are obviously tops, but in the AFC it's like okay Patriots rookie Titans. quarterbacks. Titans, it's mainly Derrick Henry. Telling the Bengals. Derrick Henry hasn't played in two months. Bengals are, one, inexperienced. I don't like using that as, like, an excuse because yeah. I don't think it's big. They are – they're up and down. Like, they're at the beginning, you know, they were red hot, and then they kind of got into a slump, and now they're back on it. So, I mean, I don't yeah. trust them to be consistent, but I could see them going far. Mm-hmm. Even though Joe Burrow's still young, they got a young coach. Um, Aaron Rodgers has never won a Super Bowl, huh? Yes, he has. Why did you just say that? <laughs> he has? Yes. yes. What, what year? year? I think he I guess won two. MVP that same year, too. I guess who? Yeah. Steelers. He's lost it? more NFC championships than he's won. No, I don't remember. <laughs> it wasn't the Steelers, was it? It was uh, he, the one day he won? Yeah. He's only won once, right? It was 2000. Or was it? Oh, yeah, I think man. he's only won once. Won once. I'm not here to talk about Aaron Rodgers, though. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he is going to get the MVP at the end of the year. It was against um, the Steelers, yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Sorry, I sorry, just, everyone. I didn't know that. I don't want to see Tampa and, and the Packers. Oh, no, I don't want to. It's going to be game. Tampa and the Packers. No, I'm sorry. It's either going to be that or it's going to be Cowboys and Packers. Cowboys Cowboys, Cowboys. suck, bro. They you don't play anyone that, good. You say that now, but I mean, I'm just saying. Like, I like the Broncos-Cowboys game. That was good. That was a bad <laughs> game. That was not a good game. <laughs> that was fun to watch. You know, I think the Jets are going to go to the Super Bowl this year. Well, it's they're already eliminated from the playoffs, <laughs> so might have to wait for next year. It's so weird. This season's been so crazy because, like, the really bad teams beat these really good teams, like the Jags beating the Bills. The Bucks almost beat the, the Jets. The Jets almost beat the Bucks. Or the Jets almost beat the Bucks. Um, the Texans. Who did the Texans beat a couple weeks ago? The Col- or the Chargers. The Chargers. Like, what? Smashed yeah. them. Yeah. It's just it's weird seeing, like, these. And it just goes to show, like, Anybody's game, especially Who'd the Seahawks the AFC, score like, 51 seven. points on the Lions. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Last week, poor Lions. The Lions are just getting cheated left and right. Yeah, I'm right when they're about, about to win, boom! Tucker kicks a NFL record-breaking field. Yeah, that just goes to show the Ravens. The Ravens like are always like one score away from winning or losing, except against the Bengals, <sighs> obviously. And maybe going for two on the maybe third time's a charm. You know, maybe <laughs> maybe. I don't know. I, I don't know. I know they almost beat the Packers. They almost beat the Rams. To like, that's crazy. That's even without Lamar. Dang, Ravens are. Uh, Lamar eight played and for eight? the first half of the, or he played for like the first quarter of the Packers game, I think. Then it went down to Huntley. So going back to the the Cowboys, the Cowboys, um, you know, they went on a four game winning streak, uh, and in that winning streak, they beat the Saints, the Washington Football Team, and the New York Giants twice. Okay. Hey, Not say what you want, but I like the Washington Football Team. <laughs> I think they're good. <laughs> Maybe record doesn't show, but honestly, I don't think record means shit. And if we're going off of, like, the Cowboys sucking, clearly that up. That well, I mean, wasn't their strength, like, supposed to be Chase Young in that defense? I think so. And then they got, like, 50-plus put up on them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. And they I, had I, some internal conflicts. I do like Heineke. Like, he's not I don't know. horrible, but... If you watched that game, there was, there was more <laughs> internal conflict going on. It was... It's every Cardinals game. I mean, well, I mean, the <laughs> Cardinals weren't, like, legit fighting each other, though. Cardinals beat themselves. 
like I isn't there wasn't there a fight that broke out between their own players, the Washington team? I didn't watch the whole game. That game. I, like, I think so. Yeah, they lost mentally. I know Jalen Ramsey yeah. punched his own teammate. Mm-hmm. I seen that. The, uh, I seen that. Antonio Brown. <laughs> oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, I just read the statement about that. I just read Did it. they finally release it? Yeah, I read his statement on uh, Sports Center. Posted it on Instagram and read the whole thing. I'll what did he up. say about yeah, well, that? They, they, it was basically about um, Tampa Bay basically forced him to play on an injured ankle. And he was complaining about it and basically telling them that See, center hurts. That, I, I like that they say that, but then he like does jumping jacks off the field. Yeah. Looking, looking great with, the, with his ankle. Yeah, I don't know if I buy that. Oh, I think up. it's just like uh, And then he said that Bruce Arians just told him He's basically done on the sidelines And he left and Even if that's the case This isn't his first Like Occurrence Of doing something I've crazy He's jumped from team to team And is Yeah That's the first one And then he's I mean talented receiver Yeah But I mean like I don't know It's just Did you see the stats of like He was Not the behavior like, One receiving doing. TD away from Like $300,000 bonus yeah. And then like fifty one yards away from another three hundred thousand dollar bonus, and then eight receptions away from another three hundred thousand dollar bonus. So, Sheesh. lost, Hope lost him a million well dollars. Yeah, so he's accusing the Bucks of like doing a cover up, mm-hmm. saying that his ankle is like needing surgery and that he's like forced to play on it. But they said that they gave what they gave him. They gave him something. Hold on, it's in the article. Like they injected him with something before the game and told him to basically go out there and play. I think that's a little bit more commonplace than just Antonio Brown's situation right now, from what I've heard. But, I mean, even if that's the case, like... Well, we don't really know the full yeah, situation, you don't know. I guess, so it can't, we can't make I think Antonio game. Brown has a lot more <laughs> problems than mm-hmm. him being forced on a, to play on a hurt ankle. <laughs> I mean, like, it, the past, like, what, year, year and a half was, like, there's no way anybody's going to take him on. And then the Bucks signed him, and it's yeah. like, what... So I th- I think he's gonna be he's gonna be done no matter what happens. Oh, look, it says right here. Um, it says I took a seat on the sideline and my coach came up to me very upset and shouted, "What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you?" I told him it's my ankle, but he knew that it was well documented and he had discussed it. Then he then ordered me to get on the field. I said, "Coach, I can't." He didn't call for medical attention. Instead, he shouted at me, "You're done!" While he ran his fingers across his throat. I think that's maybe a little bit exaggerated, too. Yeah. Was, that, was that, like, caught on tape or something? I mean, there's cameras everywhere. Yeah, you I was going to say, do we have, like, video proof of uh-huh. that? Whatever. Antonio Brown. Playoffs going on. Oh, well. Uh, I'm excited to watch, no matter what. I was going to say, this is going to be a good year. Can't wait to see the Ravens take it all. What's the Ravens seeding? Uh, zero. None. They have a 4% <laughs> to be chance determined. to be in the playoffs. You guys aren't even, they didn't even get in? Losing to the Rams lost us our spot. Oh, I didn't even know that. So in yeah. order to go, in order to go to the playoffs, which again, 4% chance of it AFC's happening. AFC's wild, man. <laughs> Dude, it's anyone's <laughs> game. We need to beat the Steelers. Uh, the Colts need to lose the Jaguars. The Dolphins <laughs> need to lose to the Patriots. And the Browns need to lose to the Bengals. All of those have to happen what? for us to go back into the <laughs> playoffs. The Jags have to beat the Colts. Is and all of those are favored, except for the Colts losing to the Jags. And I don't even see that happening. So, GG, maybe next year. Like, the Colts have not won in Jacksonville in the past five years. Did you guys know that? I do not see that happening. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I'll, no, eat, my, either, I'll eat my own. <laughs> yeah, I'll eat my own words. I'll be. I would be so happy if that happens. Okay, like. I am not wishing yeah, that they don't beat The thing them, is, that just... might happen, but everything else might not happen. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine everything falls in place, but the it's Ravens just... just lose the Steelers game? Do you see the Steelers <laughs> uh, path to the playoffs? Because technically they're still alive. Yeah, it's, yeah there's they a have lot to beat easier. the Ravens. There's, they just have to beat so the Ravens. They, no, they have to win. The Colts have to lose. And then the, the who was it? Raiders the and Raiders and Chargers, Raiders and Chargers they just have can't to... be a tie. Please be a tie. And if it is a tie, the Raiders and Chargers both get in. Yeah. So the Raiders and Char- like if if the other stuff happens too, the Raiders and Chargers could take the field and say, "Hey, let's just knee it down fifteen times, and <laughs> we're, that, we're both in the playoffs." Is that allowed? Is that I don't know. I feel like that'd be illegal. I feel like the crowd so would be bizarre. <laughs> but like, that could do that. feasibly happen. Well, that otherwise, both otherwise, the and the Ravens. Please otherwise, whoever that. wins that game gets in, and then the Steelers get in. Yeah. So if they're just like, "Hey, we could both get in," the Ravens <laughs> can beat the Steelers. Okay, it is possible. Just don't Harbaugh. go for two. Please don't go for two. <laughs> I'm begging. Please. <laughs> I get that the players ask, and you're like, oh, okay, I'll survey. Like, sure, why not? You know, it's what the players want to do. Please. Stupid decision. For the love of God. Stupid. Please, Harbaugh. Don't do that. Yes. All right. Harbaugh, thank you for listening, by the way. 
We'll touch back next week down. when we find out who plays who, and we'll get into that. Oh, uh, yeah. Ethan, go ahead and take us through our social media. All right, guys. Be sure to follow us on our social medias. Um, yeah, be sure to follow us on Twitter at OEF underscore white noise and at One Eyed Fits. Uh, that's our Twitter, OEF underscore white noise and One Eyed Fits. It's all one word. Subscribe to us on YouTube at One Eyed Fits where you can find the audio of this podcast. We're also on Spotify, Anchor. We're still working on the Apple Podcasts. Uh, please leave a comment of your thoughts. And uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter to see anything posted there or leave your comments on this episode or leave your comments down in the YouTube comment section. And uh, we look forward to your thoughts and any questions you might have. Cool. Anything, guys, for closing? We liked having Austin. Yep. Hardly talked about football. Thanks for being a guest. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I feel like uh, I would have fit in with the burger rankings more. <laughs> oh, what's 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 your number one burger? Number one. <sighs> Off the top of your head. Don't five guys. Those. Five guys? Five guys is a good so burger. Five guys even on the list? Did we put on the no. list? I don't think we did. I think we didn't classify that. You were like doing that as like fast, fast food, food. But right, Del so. Taco. <laughs> That's you, what I said. Oh Del Taco has I've a pretty a good Taco burger. burger. I'm Who the hell thinks you. of Del Taco when they think of a good burger? I'm like the one burgers? guy that will get a burger from any restaurant. We go to a Mexican restaurant and I'll order a burger. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta try everybody's out. Cool. All right. That's so. it for, for this week. Gavin, anything to add? Uh, no. I'm, all right. Me. Uh, just thank Have you for fun. joining us. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, all the works and stuff. And uh, be sure to tune in next week for our hot dog eating contest. <laughs> <laughs>